Okay, folks, thank you again for joining me here, Vet51. I'm going to uh, put a push button safety. And I pretty much got it set up. Well, not completely, but I broke this and uh, lower mine, loosened up the bolt for the uh, grip. And I'm going to pretty much go about it and show you the best I can because of the way my camera is set up. Okay, so basically. You gotta have the hammer lever here down, okay? Now you gotta be careful because you have the detent spring, okay? So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove it completely because the push button came with its own detent spring and pin. So I'm going to use those. And here comes the tent pin. Okay. Now, with that done, I'm able to remove the safety lever. Okay. And what I'm going to do is insert the push button. There we go. All right, so got to make sure I turn it because they have those little impressions here so that that's where the detent pin is going to have to be lined up at. So, so Make sure this is correct because this thing is not one thing, it's another. Okay, here we go. Make sure everything's lined up. Because if it's not, there won't be no catch. So, this detent pin is different. See, this one don't have really much of a point like the usual one. The norm. So. So. I want to make sure it's in there right. We're gonna... There we go. It's in there. Because you could tell. Now, there it is. So, that's situated. Where did that go? All right. The handle the uh, boat just came flying out, and there it is. I can feel it with my foot. This kind of sucks. This goes to show you, layman's uh, man's tones on how things work. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna get the spring. I got the detent in, detent pin in. Now I got. All right, there goes that. There we go. Now, the bolt. Sometimes you got to be careful because if you don't put these things, these bolts in, in the right angle, you're going to be here a while trying to figure out how to tighten it up because you just, you didn't go in the right direction. 
All right, go. Go. All right, let me hang tight for a moment. All right, here it is. It's a little tough, but I figure after a while, of you break it in. So, it means it's good to fire. It means the safe is on. So. Let me drop this back together. Okay. Now, remember my previous video, I was putting these little uh, hex uh, pieces on. So, you don't see the lever so how do you know it's on fire well how do you know well it's just like anything on on a uh, uh, handgun okay red is dead and there you go so let's give this a shot so I reach I can do it with my thumb with this my right hand or reach with my left holding the magazine well reach down all the way across Boom. Now it's on fire, right? So let's give it a shot. Okay. Now, can you put it in just like anything else? You can't, right? So, oh, nice grip. Look at that. I don't feel the slide anymore of my hand coming off. So, now, I could do it this. Or however you feel comfortable. There you go. So, boom, rather than using my thumb here, I could, you know, however you feel comfortable. That's your thing. So, there you go. Push button safety. Fire switch. Fire. Safe. Fire. Safe. All right. Another spectacular 51 moment. Okay, so folks, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to drop me a line, ask me a question. I'll give you an honest answer. If I've done it, I'll let you know. If I haven't, I'll still let you know. And if I can get you an answer, I'll get you one as soon as I can, okay? I come across with the layman's man terms on how to put things together the best we can. And I'll tell you what, if I have to go to a professional, I go to a professional. I'm nowhere near... A professional gunsmith okay this what I do here is for fun okay I'm not trying to sell you anything I'm not trying to uh, you know direct you in a, a direction of a certain business but if I was to do that I direct you towards me okay I do have parts and accessories that I keep Aside for those who are interested in um, making a purchase through me. And if that's the case, you can always find me on Facebook or here on YouTube. And it'll be Vet51 Tactical. And I'll uh, come across and let you know what I have. All right. Until next time, guys, again, ladies, be good, stay strong, be patriotic, and always carry a weapon. Until next time, hit that like button. Subscribe, and I'll see you again with the next one. Later, guys.